first met Sir Hale in 2013. I was doing a show in Edinburgh. So I was playing this old song, Lowlands, Lowlands Away. And he just straight away started joining in. We just had a lot of fun, both musically and, uh, you know, we get on very well as, as friends. And John Thorne was a guy who had been playing bass for me for a few years. And I knew that he was an exploratory player who wasn't scared of taking risks. So I asked him if he would come on board and uh, we rehearsed. And from that very first moment that he started playing, we could tell that sonically it was gonna work with the guitar, the sarangi and the double bass. Well, we recorded the album in a residential analog studio. So there's nothing digital, no computers. Everything went to tape in the way that they used to make records in the 70s. The records, it brings atmosphere, you know, it brings character. But if you're doing it digitally, it's very tempting just to snip that out and make it super clean. The second album has songs uh, like Pia. So we just thought that, you know, the India as a tour could be an interesting way to make live versions out of those songs. And that's why we are constantly trying to increase our repertoire and involve more and more interesting things. I love every single song on the record, the, but the one that springs to mind is Kruted Kolya that I learned from a singer called Anne Berg decades ago. And they said, yeah, 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 let's do that. And then when we got to the bit where Sir Hale started playing his um, sarangi like a uh, tabla, he's going dong to kang, dong to kang, and then he suddenly started singing. And he started going, Wah! and doing all that crazy stuff. We got to the end of the song and we went and listened to him. So shall we do it again? And everyone was like, no, that's it. We're not going to do it again. What's the point in trying that again? I mean, that's in keeping with our philosophy to keep things sort of fluid and, and flexible and not too rigid. And just to allow things to effervesce. And to take chances, to take risks every night and just see what happens. This whole experience has always been to me learning and sharing. We are constantly learning new things every day. Music can bring people together without barriers and without boundaries. Um, and it's wonderful to be a part of that. I think with Yorks and Thong Khan, it's a very easy way of showing that like, you can just be together. There's no reason for man to be versus man. <laughs> 